Converge will diverge. Sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, parentheses negative 1 to the nth power times n over n plus 2. This is alternating because we have this factor, negative 1 in the parentheses to the nth power. And then for this part, we see that for this, n over n plus 2. As n goes to infinity, we know this part goes to 1, which is not 0. So we can show that this series, in fact, it diverges. And to show you that this is a divergent, we are going to use the test for divergence. Even though this is alternating series, but then we are going to show this is a divergent, okay? And to do so, we take the limit, so we'll put down as n goes to infinity, and we take the limit of the original, this formula right here. And let me write it down again here, negative 1 to the nth power times n over n plus 2. As long as we can show this does not approach to zero, then by test for divergence, we can say the original series diverges. All right, as n goes to infinity, let's focus on this part first, n over n plus 2, which we just care about n on the top here, and then this n on the bottom here. So we know this will approach. Let's put down this factor, parentheses negative 1 to the nth power, and then for this part, we know this is just going to be a portion to 1. So we are pretty much multiplying this by 1. And now, we still have to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And then we have this formula here, negative 1 to the nth power. But then this is always going to be what? Negative 1 or positive 1, negative 1 or positive 1, and so on, so on, so on. This will never approach to a number, right? This right here, the limit of this, does not exist, which is enough, okay? Once again, as long as you take the limit of this AM formula, as long as this is not a portion to zero, we are good, including does not exist situation like this. So, I can conclude, so just write down, we are going to conclude that the original series, sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, negative 1 to the nth power, n over n plus 2. This right here, diverges. And we know that it's because by the test for divergence. One more time. As long as the AM formula does not approach zero, then we can argue that the series diverges, including the situation that when you have this limit being non-existent. This does not exist. We are good to say the original series diverges by test for divergence. That's it.